Welcome back to in this series of MATLAB. I am Pankaj Patel, and in this video, we are going to work on for loop. So let's get started. So from this video, we are going to work on loops. For loop is used for iterative process, and when we work on numbers, then for loop is best choice. So now let's move to our syntax and flowchart of for loop. Now here we have flowchart and syntax for for loop. So in for loops, first we start, then we add this condition. If condition is false, so it directly goes to stop. Same like while loop. If condition is true, then it prints expression and it again repeats same procedure means it updates same procedure. And then if condition is false, so then it stops. So here we have syntax for for loop. So first we add for, then our index equal to values here condition and then our statement for that condition. If condition is true, then it prints statement and it does again and again when condition goes false then it stops and then we end our for loop as i said earlier that for loop is best choice for numbers so now we are going to add one in one to five numbers so when we are going to adding separately then it is big task so because of that we are going to use for loop for this operation so now let's create code let's say for statement and x equal to 1 colon 5 means 1 to 5 and on next line x equal to x plus 1 semicolon and then yep print f open parenthesis close parenthesis double close and inside that x plus 1 is percent d in string format black slash n and then comma x and semicolon so in this code first we are going to iterate 1 to 5 numbers then it is going to add 1 in that number and it is going to print this so now let's save this code and run this code so let's save this code as for underscore add dot m now let's run this code so like this here we have our output so now let's use breakpoint and let's visualize this code so now let's add breakpoint at for statement and let's run and now let's open command prompt and use step so we go on to second line so it is going to add one in one because we are in first iteration and then it is going to print x plus one is two now let's use step and now let's go to second iteration so now we have x as two and then it is going to add one in two and then it is going to print x plus 1 is 3 like this now again use step so we have we are in third iteration so x is 3 and it is going to add 1 and then it is going to print x is 4 like this now let's come to fifth iteration so we have x equal to 5 and it is going to add 1 in x so it is going to print x plus 1 is 6 so like this we are going to iterate using for loop so now we are going to create function to find factorial of numbers so now let's add one more script file and let's say function and let's make function equal to fact sorry function fact f equal to because f is our output and let's save this function as fact.m now on second line we need to add our statements so let's add f equal to 1 semicolon and now let's add for loop so for x equal to 1 colon n and then on next line let's say f equal to f into x and semicolon so here what it is going to do so we have some number n so we are going to consider f as 1 and using for loop it is going to multiply the value of 1 to n with each other and it is going to give final output because factorial is multiplication of 1 to the number which we are going to consider now we are going to use end and then let's run this as fact 10 so it gives factorial of 10 like this so we are done with this code so now let's save this code so now now we are going to create code to find is the number is divisible by 2 or not between 1 to 20 so already we worked on modulus function means mod function in our previous video of this series if you don't know about modulus function you can also search on 
documentation of MATLAB modulus function is used to find modulus of any number means that number is divisible by some parti particular number or not so now let's start our code so now let's add one script file and save the script file as for underscore div dot em and now let's add our code in that script file so let's add for loop and for x equal to 1 to 20 and on next line we are going to add if statement if so now let's add uh, if statement on next line if mod of a comma 2 means it is going to find is number is divisible by 2 or not and then continue statement then if number is divisible by 2 then it is going to continue and it is going to print your yep, print yep, divisible by 2 percent d percent d means we are going to add double float and backslash run and then comma x let's save this code and try to run this code so here we have the number in between 1 to 20 which are divisible by 2.